I'm Mike the Engineer, and this is a short discussion about the intellectual dishonesty of Anthony Rodin. Let's do some science. Okay, so the hypothesis would be relative density appears to be a force. We can make things move by changing the density because density is a force. The independent variable would be the pocket of air at the top of the bell housing or the bell jar. We're going to change the density of that. The dependent variable, the effect, would be the forces are equalized and do not remain in a state of disequilibrium. They remain or they become a state of equilibrium. And then there's nothing holding the water in the bell jar. The null hypothesis would be if we change the density of the pocket of air at the top of the bell jar, nothing happens and it remains the way it is. It's passing through cold water with ice cubes in it. The density of that air has to be more dense than the air that's already in there. So we push the pin in. Watch for the bubble. There's the bubble. So we know that there is air going in right now. And then as we wiggle this, the cold air goes in, changes the mass of the pocket of air, and then boom, the pressure differential that was holding that, that, that water to the inside of the jar has become equal. It's not in a state of disequilibrium anymore. So we've changed the density of the pocket of air. We've caused the disequilibrium to become equilibrium and all we did was allow air to travel through the blue tack holy crap riley this relative density video is even dumber than the buoyant egg incident seriously are you really this dumb or is it something else you know what i'll get back to that in a minute first of all this is the worst display of the scientific method you've shown yet you claim that increasing the density of the air on top of the jar will exert a force, uh, releasing the water from the jar, but providing zero evidence to support that claim. Just a claim. That's all it is. You provide no observations, no calculations, showing why putting cold, more dense air on top of the water column uh, will release the water from the jar solely due to relative density to the exclusion of all other probabilities. So, I don't know, equalizing pressure above and water uh, below the water column, so it's just weight at that point. Claiming something is due to relative density without evidence is not science. It's pseudoscience, pure and simple. It's just another in a long line of bullshit where you fail to back up your idiotic claims, and it's very telling. Seriously, saying that something demonstrates a claim is not evidence of a claim. But I think you know that already. You already know that you'll never be able to provide any evidence to back up relative density to the exclusion of all other possibilities. Otherwise, you would have done so already and ended this discussion once and for all. And dude, seriously, learn what a null hypothesis is. If you've got a claim that cold, more dense air exerts a force on the water column, forcing the water out of the jar, then you probably should have tested something like, I don't know, maybe whether hot, less dense air had any effect on that water column. If you really knew what you were doing, you would have included gravity in your null hypothesis. You would have had more than one null hypothesis. I know you presuppose gravity doesn't exist, so therefore you could avoid having to deal with it at all. You could have easily tested if gravity had any effect on it by varying the height of the water column. If it's solely due to relative density, it really shouldn't make a difference, should it? No, nope, it shouldn't. I don't know, maybe a water height column of 408 inches it should hold itself up if you don't have an issue with relative density, right? You know the answer to that, you disingenuous little prick. Everybody knows that it's differential pressure and nothing else that keeps that cover in place at the end of the jar. Atmospheric pressure exerting more force on the other side of that cover than the weight of the water on the upper side of that cover. Just as everybody knows that letting air into the top of the jar equalizes the atmospheric pressure above and below the water column, so there's nothing 
to support the weight of the water. And false. You have utterly failed to provide any evidence to the contrary. In the end, you know it didn't matter at what the temperature of the water, air was that you put into there, because the water was going to come out of the jar regardless. You went to college. You had to have taken a basic math and science class. You graduated high school, right? So you must have taken basic science in high school or whatever the UK equivalent is. You graduated college, so you can't possibly be this stupid. The only explanation is you're just plain intellectually dishonest. It's the only thing that makes sense. Seriously, making a claim without any evidence to support that claim is not science. And it is not evidence. I'm Mike the Engineer, and I'm done.